All right, we have rolled up, ladies and gents. Here we go, a little green on green action. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Check out Rob's new uh, junker. Rob, I could get used to this right here. <laughs> I don't even know what all this is. Oh. Ooh, don't worry, Rob, my shoes are clean. Woo! Welcome back to Texas, boys and girls. It is a sunny and hot afternoon, Friday, June 6th. We are on our way to the Guggen HQ. And uh, gonna pick up some plastics, man. We are stocking up. We got a big lake trip planned this weekend. I don't know if I should spoil it or not, but think of like eating utensils. We're going to one of those lakes. Does that make sense? Anyways, y'all, we are in the lime green machine, man. We are rocking the Synergy Green Camaro. Haven't been driving this thing that much. It's a 2010, not like you guys care, but it's got 43,000 miles. We just don't drive it very often. I think we bought it with like 18,000 miles 10 years ago. I mean, it was like right after we turned 19, yeah, almost 10 years ago. So we've had this car for quite some time. That's really neither here nor there though. Let's go ahead and get over to the warehouse, y'all, and get into today's festivities. All right, we have rolled up, ladies and gents. Is this the one? Look at this. <laughs> Dude, this is next on my list. <laughs> oh, okay, I see you a couple graphs up here. Somebody's been out fishing. Dude, this thing has space. Ooh. Rob, I could get used to this right here. He says he needs a few more graphs, but other than that, he's good. <laughs> I don't even know what all this is. I feel like I'm in a Dodge Viper in these seats right here. They got the O <laughs> handles. Look at this deck space. Don't worry, Rob, my shoes are clean. I'm gonna have to do a little boat swap with him for a day. Ah, see what kind of trouble we can't get into. All right, let's grab these baits. All right, y'all, we're thinking summer pattern. What have we got in here? Here is the haul we're picking up for the lake trip this weekend. Gotta grab another money bag. Got one of the best mafia boxes. Actually, we got a couple. This big guy. I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of these pieces out. In fact, actually, the majority. Toss some of those bigger swim baits in here. You know, we've just been uh, throwing more of those and kind of rocking just whatever little box we've got for them. But now we got something legitimate. We got an ice box. You guys know I usually just carry that small one when we're doing the bank fishing missions. But this guy right here, we're gonna keep loaded up for the boat. And then plenty of plastics. I have been running low. I got some braided line too for some top water action. I don't have any 50 pound at the house, grabbed a little bit of that, but we have been lacking in the soft plastic department. Came over here, scooped some back up. You guys have been seeing us tear them up on the saucy swimmers lately. Had to get some more of those. We might be fishing some offshore structure this weekend. We might be going with something like the Slim Shake, the Mondo Worm. It's gonna be a lot of fun, you guys. Let's go ahead, get loaded up and head out of here. Don't forget the big boy. All right. Until we meet again. All right, man. I'm gonna go grab those other couple boxes. We're gonna let the dogs out. We are back at the casa. I gotta fill these things up. Ziki boo! Ziki boo! Oh, this one. Let's go. Gino! Gino! There you go. Be free! Be free! They are taken care of. We are out in the garage, man. Let me see. You know what? Much better. Let me grab some of the goods, man. We gotta load some tackle into these boxes. Ooh. Y'all about to have a new home. Check us out, guys. The money bag for more soft plastics because you can never seem to have enough soft plastic storage. Also, we got this guy right here, the honcho. I am most excited about this box right here because we've been throwing a lot more swim baits lately. You guys have seen it. They occupy a lot of space and we have not got the storage for it. So literally we just boxes. There's more, there's more swim baits in here, just random stuff. And so I wanted something for some bigger baits. This should be able to accommodate at least the stuff that's just kind of hanging out loose and enough for us to take with us when we take the boat out and not have to bring five different boxes. Aside from that guy right here, we got the smaller box. Well, some would say large, but we got another bass box for the boat. It's got these locking pins. Check out these Bass Mafia Guggen Squad collab boxes, man. Sealed tight. Pretty important, you guys, when it comes to the moisture getting into your tackle and maybe rusting those hooks. Just deteriorating your lures over time. It's much better to have that seal. Same goes with when you pull baits out of the water. You don't always want to put those right back in the boxes. A lot of times you want to let them sit in the sun for a second, let them dry, then put them in the boxes, especially if they're sealed as well as these ones here, because what's going to happen is then you've just locked the moisture inside. So something to think about. Don't go too crazy with it, but now you've got the knowledge and the power to keep your stuff lasting as long as possible soft plastics man we got a bunch as you can see this box 
that our buddy Jared sent us is packed to the brim and he's actually traveling up from Austin. He's gonna be fishing fork with us this weekend. Also some big news on the boat. Stick around for the end of the episode. We got some news for you guys. Yeah, it's stacked to the brim. I'd rather have a little bit more organization, although this is just fine. We're gonna put some of those into this box here. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna probably take a lot of these bad boys out and just be stacking baits in here horizontally. Um, this stuff has just been sitting out. Maybe we can get it to fit. We also got the Mega Bass Garuda. I've just been carrying around in this like camera bag. Uh, anyways, it's gonna be the in there so yeah much needed storage i'm gonna load a couple of those up as well as some citizens if i can and we'll show you what it looks like here in just a second all right y'all moments later things are coming together very nicely we've got all of our hard plastic large bodied swim baits in this box now totally legit. We also filled up the money bag. I was trying to find a way to get all the soft plastics organized. This is perfect, dude. This is literally all our big swim baits, man. Working class zeros in one bag, but that's not it. We also have the beast owner hooks for future rigging. Uh, we need to get a couple more, but uh, at the moment we've got enough. They're pretty much all pre-rigged. And then also our mend it soft plastic glue. You guys can find this stuff in the description. If you're fishing soft plastic baits and they're getting torn up and you think you got to trash them, Think again, dudes, pick that up. It is worth the investment of like that 10, 15 bucks for that little bottle to glue those puppies right back together and get them back in the water and catch some more big fish. So guys, Devin's about here. We actually have to go pick up the boat, run a couple errands. We're gonna stop by Dick's Board and go see if we can't get some more gear. It is all in preparation for the big weekend trip. And we got that big boat news. Okay, oh. we're here. Lock that up. Field and stream, baby, slash Dick's Sporting gets kind of one and the same. We're gonna run in here and see if we can't find some gear. Oh, we are at the storage. We got the units loaded. We got the sauce. We got the cover. Ready for the weekend trip. Alright guys, we are almost finished with today's activities. We went ahead, ran to Dick's Sporting Goods, got some shaky heads, got some new fishing line. I forgot to grab some fluorocarbon at the warehouse, so I picked some up. Also grabbed the boat. We are now en route to the Casa. It is about 8 p.m. and the sun is not going to set for about another half an hour. Perfect time for me to go ahead while it's not so hot and mow the yard. It's one of those days where both of your neighbors like just mowed and your yard is like right in between theirs and kind of looks like a little iffy. We're going to be gone for two days on this trip to Fork, so better go ahead and mow that thing. You guys will probably see this vlog just a couple hours after I'm done mowing the yard because I upload these things as quickly as I can. I don't try to upload these videos at 12 midnight, 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., but I want to crank out a video a day for you guys, otherwise I feel like I'm not putting in all the effort I can. With that being said, hopefully I can get this one done in a reasonable time. I'm not sifting through hours of footage today, uh, like fishing, where it's like, okay, identify where the catches are, what key points I'm talking about. I'm just sifting through about half an hour's worth of footage on this camera, and then that will be uh, most likely an easier edit. Not always. Hopefully I'll have this one up by 10 p.m. for you guys. So let's go ahead and get home, mow the yard, showcase the rest of those boxes, and call it a day. All right, y'all, Devin and I kind of tag team that. Look at this little thing. Yeah. Couple, couple little dry spots. I mean, this is life. I think we need another sprinkler, or it's just the fact that this gets like so much sun compared to the, some areas that get a little bit of shade. Anyways, yeah, so I we did it, Devin kind of pushed the mower around, and uh, that's about that, man. We are ready for tomorrow. done and it's 9 41 so about the time i wanted to have this video up but that's how it goes it's going to be a late night video again we got a couple more things to do though we have got to line up a few of these reels and get them prepped and ready 20 pound we don't want to go anything lighter when on this lake because there's a lot of stuff you're going to run into there's some big bass you could link up with we don't want to make any sacrifices here so what we're going to do is that 50 pound braid i grabbed from the warehouse i'm going to go ahead these spools are both almost empty top that line up a little bit leave enough for a small backing just to go around the spool a little bit of the floral carpet I already have on there. Then we're going to put that braid on the majority of the spool and run that Seaguar 20 pound leader for uh, quite a ways and that will be that. And the biggest news to come at the end of the video. Got TJ and Marshmallow playing. Anyways y'all, I just got this spool uh, all the way taken down to the very last bit and I left just enough to uh, tie a double uni knot to my Guggen Squad braid. That's gonna be our main line again, and then that Seaguar Braze X to be the leader of choice. Let's go ahead and get it done. All right. Got the first rig complete, man. It is spooled all the way up, and I went ahead and tied a grid iron jig on there. Green pumpkin, I hear, is the deal. And uh, we're gonna see if this thing don't work. Working on that second reel now, y'all. I'm just getting a second double uni knot, guys. I'm attaching the braid as the main line for the second reel. 
and there you have it, guys a couple of reels re-spooled it feels good man to go in prepped and ready uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun on fork this weekend we're gonna be fishing again with jared check out his information down in the description wish us luck on catching some giants and avoiding the stumps we're gonna be really testing out live scope seeing if it makes a big difference on fork compared to being maybe people who haven't been using it in the past and see if that can't make all the difference but here is the grand finale man the boat. We have a name and it came from one of you guys and I can't thank you enough, Gary. You called her the Hot Tamale <laughs> and I think it goes perfect, dude. You guys have probably seen in some of my vlogs, some like, you know, tamales and mac for lunch. Hot Tamale, man, it goes down here in Texas, red hot. So guys, the Red Ranger is officially named Hot Tamale. I can't thank you guys enough for all the great comments we received. That one stood out to me and I thought it was killer. So now you know, we'll catch you guys on Lake Fork tomorrow. Boom.